Thanks for coming back to Shotoku Tech. I really wanted to go back in time and redo this forget your passwords at KeyPass and portable apps because you don't really need the portable apps and I really lost track of what I was doing and didn't even mention the auto type feature so I had to make another video about that and I want to make a new one and make it a lot faster and shorter and get to the point. So here goes. Okay, so just like the original video, the premise is I just changed all my passwords and guess what? I don't remember any of them anymore because they're in the password manager. So that's what we're going to demonstrate is KeePassXE from KeePassXE.org. Follow the link below. We're going to download it and install it. Here we go. Okay, so we've launched KeePassXE. The first thing we need to do is create a new database. Got to give that database a name. You can set this encryption strength. Basically, it's the amount of time it would take to decode. You're gonna need to enter a password for the database. This is how you will get in and out of the database. So this is the one password that you will have to remember. You also have these additional security options. You're gonna save the file. Now we're going to edit the properties of the root group. And all I want to do is enable auto type and make sure that this auto type sequence is what we're looking for. That's going to be inherited by anything else down below that. Okay, so first we're going to add a new group. You have to name the new group. You can also apply optional icons and you can check the auto type settings. You can see that they're inherited from the parent group or you could modify them for this group. Okay, so now we need to create a new entry. First, you're going to need a title. You'll have to enter the username and a password. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and type in the URL for the website that we're creating this password entry for. Now, let's roll the dice and get a password. I'm going to add more options here. So you generate that and you apply it and now you got a password you're certainly not going to remember and nobody's really going to guess. So we're going to go ahead and apply an icon to this as well. Let's check out the auto type. Actually when you look at the auto type in the create mode you really can't see anything. This isn't a good place to do auto type. We're going to complete this entry and then we'll go back in and edit the entry to do the auto type. Okay let's edit that entry auto type and here now we can see yeah the pattern is inherited and we can even do specific things basically it's a window restriction you're saying that I'm only gonna allow auto type in a window named this and that's a great security feature as it makes sure that you don't inadvertently show your password in say notepad or something so let's take one more look at it here you got the name the username you got the URL, you got the password, you got the icon, you got the auto type with a window association. All right, let's try it out. So you can right click on the entry and open the URL. Now in the KeyPass XC interface, you can certainly right click on the entry again and copy the username. And you can also copy the password and you can paste those in individually. That's a lot of work. You might have a situation where you just need a password or you just need the username. So it's kind of handy to be able to paste those in individually when you need to. But let's use Autotype. So we've opened the URL and now we're just going to send Autotype. And off she goes. That's pretty smooth. Anyway, I don't even know what the password is and I just logged in. So now let's log into my Gangster Burner prepaid phone service. There you go. Okay, let's look at some settings. Under security, you have this clear clipboard after 10 seconds setting. That is great because then you aren't inadvertently pasting your password somewhere. You can also enable browser integration. Feel free to check everything else out and let me know what you think. Anyway, I hope that you benefited from learning about this password manager, KeyPassXE. 
And also you can check out this mobile KeyPass to Android app that works with the same database. Thank you very much. Won't you please subscribe to Shotoku Tech? Then maybe little Bobby won't have to walk the streets. Thank you very much.